Yo, what's up guys? Rob Shukraft here with Three Storm Fitness. And uh, today I'm going to talk to you about my barbell storage in the back. My DIY poor man's barbell rack that I put together for, I don't know, 10 bucks maybe? Uh, if you just assume that 2x4s are like, I feel like everybody at least knows somebody with some 2x4s laying around their garage or their backyard or something. So, if you factor that in, it's probably more like $8. Um, all I really use is bike hooks. Uh, so I have a gold variety of, I don't know how far up you can see here, but I got a, uh, I got a trap bar up here, a 35 pound trap bar, a 35 pound Eagle Swiss bar. These are both Black Widow, by the way, in case you want to know. I got videos on reviews on all this stuff if you're interested. I got a, uh, Elite FTS SS yoke bar. It's about 62 and a half, 65 pounds. Got a, um, uh, Rogue Beater, that's 45, Olympic. I got a Rogue uh, uh, Ohio Power Bar, that's 45, and then uh, just some uh, off-brand rusted out barbell, 45 pounds. Got a few more 45 uh, Ollie Bars around here. I got my, uh, <laughs> I don't know if you can see, I got a built one from a shake weight, a shake weight here. Um, Anyways, let me tell you real quick about it. I got another one from my curl bar. Uh, anyways, so I, I can't remember the brand I bought for the, these, these, I got these off of Amazon, these bike hooks. I might have gotten the idea off of Pinterest. I don't know, it's been about two, a little over two years since I put this together. And this is daily use. Okay, so these are, are not in perfect shape. Um, if, like this one for instance, I don't know if you can see that. Sorry, I don't have a camera person, but I have, you know, the, the like the vinyl coating, or I don't know if it's vinyl, but that heavy uh, rubberized coating, the synthetic coating on the hooks is starting to come off. I really don't care personally. I mean, it's nice to have that on there, but I bang these things up so much more just using them in and out of the power rack that having them getting a little beat up and on, on, on the storage hooks from coming off after you know two years of daily use is it's a it's a drop in the bucket. It's not a big deal to me, as far as I'm concerned. But just know that these will come off if you go with this uh, method. Another thing you're going to see is um, bending of the hooks. These hooks are eventually going to bend. And where you see it the most, for me, is down at the bottom. Now, I think that's just a combination of, even though you know that's only 45 pounds, and say this one is one <laughs> the one that has a 65-pound barbell, the yoke, is probably in the best of shape. You wonder how that could be. Well, I'm going to put my little detective hat on. I'm just going to assume it's because this one is, even though it's heavier, and I still use it all the time, it's at eye level. I just put this on. I'm not dropping it down. This one, I pick this thing up a lot of time. I run out with it, and I'll just put it down like that. And I think just day after day after day. I'm a personal trainer, by the way, so I use this stuff literally every day, multiple times a day. It's just banging keeps knocking it down. But still, two and a half years of daily use with 45 pounds, something that's meant to hang, I mean, most of these things, they'll hang uh, vertically through the ceiling, and they're meant for bikes. And bikes, they're not gonna have a 65 pound bike. Um, so it's really quite a decent method. For those who are considering doing something like this, I'm sure there's better instructions out there. I always say, you know, anytime I have a showcase a product, a, a little project like this, a DIY project, if I can do it, you can do it. I am the least handy person on the face of the earth. Um, I was telling the guy, <laughs> one of my clients the other day was talking about repl uh, replacing the transmission in his van. And I was like bragging about changing the headlight. You know, that's 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 where I am on the on the on the handy manliness scale. So you could build this, okay, with eight dollars and ninety nine cents, a couple two by fours, and a few screws, drill bit. You could do this. These, these hooks, by the way, they just screw in. You drill a hole, pile a hole, screw them in with your hand, and you're done. I got uh, the, the two by fours are about 42 inches apart, or 42 inches spaces in between. Uh, and I got about 45 and a half inches between the holes. I think I just more or less modeled them around uh, the camber of the, S, of the SS yoke bar when I did it. I just gave myself a little bit of wiggle room there. You gotta put them a little closer, of course, like an easy curl bar or shake weight, if you will. 
Um, if you guys have any questions about that, like I said, I, I'll link to the uh, to the bike hooks that I use. Eventually, I'll get that link in there. Uh, if, you, if you have any questions about this, super easy. I mean, you you, you could go online. There's there's better DIY videos out there. People making really slick stuff. You know, we get the uh, the vertical storage um, floor mounted with the you know the cylinder sleeves for the for the um, for the barbells. You got. Uh, Rogue, I think, makes a pretty decent little barbell storage. It's vertical storage, but you hang it up on the wall and you just put the barbells in between and those are like 30 bucks or so. So, you know, this may not be the answer for you, but something to consider if this particular setup looks good or you think it, it, it would function well and you already have the parts laying around, whatever, just go for it. So, uh, if you, like I said, do you have any questions, let me know. If you have any questions about any of the equipment you see in here, let me know. If you need a good shake weight exercise, shake weight workout, uh, maybe I'll brew something up there. Um, yeah, what is it? 2009 right now? When did the shake weight come out? I'm just now discovering it. Thank you, Dylan Simons, by the way, for hooking me up with that. Appreciate it, dude. All right, guys. Rob Shoecraft, 3 Storm Fitness. Please subscribe to my videos if you haven't. And have a great day.